Hi, I recently got into Unreal and uh, made a cool little cinematic uh, where this is a screenshot from it where I am kind of made a little planet Earth and you fly around it. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description but one of the s challenges that I found uh, something really simple really is I just want to have like a spaceship that just flies around this planet Earth um, and to do that I tried out this example that uh, they had in here called the flying uh, template um, so it's pretty uh, interesting um, it, it's a nice little example and it does uh, a pretty good job of uh, creating a, a sense of flying around however you know when you try to put it in uh, try to use this that example on a spherical planet it doesn't work and I'll kind of demonstrate that for you right now so if I press alt P um, if I hold left and right, it seems to turn nicely uh, and everything. Um, but if I want to kind of make it fly upside down, it just rolls around like that. It just it has some stabilization thing in here. I can't really make it turn upside down. And in general, basically, I, it doesn't really have the full control that we would need to roam, roam around a spherical uh, planet. So let's go ahead and um, uh, explore the code here to understand how this works. Um, so if you go to your project, the world outliner, you'll see this section here, uh, which is the pawn, the flying pawn, and that's where the logic basically lives. So if you click edit flying pawn, and the changes that we're going to do here in Blueprint will be this pretty much the same in C++ as well. Uh, but um, for this tutorial, I'm focusing on uh, the Blueprint version. Um, so looking at the logic here, the section here on, on HMD, HMD is head mounted display for VR stuff. Um, this is really the crux of how the spaceship moves. Um, on every event tick, well, let's see if you have a FPS of 60 FPS, then this happens 60, time, 60 times a second. Um, it will tell us how many you know, seconds elapsed between the last tick. And you multiply that by the forward speed to know how much to add to its current position um, to set the new position. So that's what this function here, add actor local offset is. It just adds a bit of the offset compared to what the delta be between what happened last time and let's add this much to this. So um, it's moving al forward, so forward for uh, in this game, in this context is in the x direction. Um, uh, but the rotation, as you can see here, the make rotator, um, it allows the game has defined the set of variables to the current pitch, yaw, and roll, um, and each of that is again multiplied by the delta seconds, how, i.e., how many seconds since the last tick, and it will again just add actor local rotation. So just adding the little bit of delta rotation every single frame. So that's how the core logic works, and um, the key question then is how are these variables, the current pitch speed, current yaw speed, and current roll speed, set? And that's uh, in the next sections of this blueprint. We have a section here that defines the forward speed value using thrust input, either the shift button. I'm going to um, skip that since we want to focus more on the rotations. Um, we have a pitch rotation. So pitch is, you know, looking up or looking down. Um, in here, however, we do see something that's a little odd. So we have the um, move up which will either be a 1 or a negative 1. So if you press the up arrow, uh, this uh, axis will be 1. And we'll go over the axis in more detail a bit later. And down will make it a negative 1. And multiplies it by the turn speed. And that um, is how much is going to uh, move the pitch, you know, up or down. Um, which sounds great, but then the section here where uh, it's also using the yaw speed and uses so i.e. the steering decreases the pitch slightly which is probably cool for what they're doing but in our case since we don't we just want to like a very clean simple motion of so that we are in full control of our spaceship i'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, let's hold alt and i click this to remove that um and i think the rest should be fine uh the next section here uh is setting the yaw speed based on turn input uh, there's a collision section, which I'm not going to go into. Um, but here, uh, the turn, the yaw speed is what is something interesting. So left and right, this is how it works. 
Um, again, turn speed multiplied by the move right axis, which again is one or negative one, um, and it uses the current yaw speed. Uh, adds use delta seconds to add to the existing yaw to set the new yaw. But we can see that it doesn't just set the yaw. So if you press the left or the right, it does more than that. It goes to this section here, which is setting the roll speed. So this logic here is basically what is doing that funky stabilization that we, that we're seeing in the game. And I think for this example, it's probably fine. But for our case, in order to be able to be in full control of the spaceship and being able to kind of roam around a spherical planet, um, we're going to bypass this logic and see how it behaves. So I'm going to hold Alt and click. And now let's see what the game will do, right? After now that I've done this. So I go back to the game, press Alt P. And um, so now left and right is very pure strafing. It's very nice. I press down, it looks up and down. So really, really good. And if I hold down and let's see if I can do it upside down. Perfect. So now I can fly upside down with nothing holding me back. And so this shows really the potential of what we can do. Um, having said that, see now I'm in this kind of weird little tilted way. How can I easily get back into a you know whatever tilt I want? And we don't have enough control to do that. And I think we will need that if I really want a full you know 3D movement around a spaceship around a planet. So for that, we will have to add a new axis. So press escape, and um, to add a new axis, the settings section here, if you click settings and click project settings, um, we are, uh, and just type in here axis. So axis is basically the control axis. This is like, what are the different controls that you have? So uh, an axis goes from negative one to one. Usually it's exactly either negative one or one. So they have already defined the following axes. One is called move up, and uh, W is maps to the number one, S maps to the neg negative one, up arrow maps to one, down maps to negative one, and then they have you know you know game pad and stuff as well. Uh, they have a move right that's defined. Again, D is one, A is negative one, and so on. The thrust, which is the the, mo the f how fast the, it'll move forward. So shift is to kind of go forward. Any control is to kind of go backward, uh, or to slow down, I should say. Um, and that's it. So in order to really have the kind of control that I'm talking about, we need to add another axis. And I'm going to call it uh, roll right. So this will allow me to control the rolling of the spaceship. And I'm calling it roll right to be very specific with the semantics here, that rolling right will be 1. And therefore, rolling left will be negative one. So um, if you click this button here, select the key value, press it. And once it's yellow, you can you can press something. So I'm going to press the letter E to make it roll right. And I press, let's add a letter uh, Q to make it turn left. Um, and for redund redundancy, why not? Let's go ahead and add a C to turn right and a uh, Z to turn left, but you know, you can kind of add your own game pads and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to do that here, but uh, you can see it's very powerful and simple system to create a new axis. And now that I've done that, uh, let's go back into our blueprint. So I click Edit Flying Pawn, and we need to now add the logic for doing what? For setting that roll speed. They already have the logic of using this roll speed variable. Uh, to make a turn, so now we're just going to set this roll speed variable. And I think uh, the easiest thing to do would be to just copy this logic here for the yaw speed, uh, because you know that's really just we just want to kind of rotate this thing. Um, so I call uh, Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, and let's paste it. Okay. So now instead of yaw speed, we're going to change the roll speed. Um, okay. And now here, this axis needs to be changed. Instead of axis move right, if you now uh, click right click here, let's type in roll right, and you can see that axis that we created showed up here. Um, and again, you know, like E will be plus one, Q will be negative one. 
I'm going to make this once the roll write happens we need to set the roll speed so I'm going to delete this uh, yaw speed we need to set the roll speed so I drag it from the return value roll speed set current roll speed all right and this arrow here is exec exec mean execute so after whenever this event happens I want to execute the set command these are not commands this is the command set the roll speed to what to this um, so we have to hook this up here and um, we're updating not the current yaw speed we're updating the current roll speed so drag from here the roll speed uh, get current roll speed um, now the question is what do we kind of multiply this roll write with um, so should we keep it turn speed or should we introduce a new variable called roll speed um, so turn speed maybe is adequate for for the yaw um, but we can see they're using turn speed for the pitch and using turn speed for the yaw so for consistency let's just use the same variable for the roll as well and since it's angular velocity it'll probably be okay but if we feel that we need to we can always turn this into a new variable um, so I'm going to keep it as turn speed and let's see if it's fine or not um, I, I think it should be okay because it's, it is angular velocity it should be fairly similar I think um, but we can modify that if needed so this is it I think let's go ahead and press alt P and see what that does okay this sorry I ran it in the um, in this blueprint editor if we press X we'll go back to the game and now left strafing is beautiful right strafing and I can rotate Q and E and now I'm in a lot more control which is awesome um, so next up let's go ahead and add our sphere to really really test this thing um, so I'm gonna put a sphere here I'm gonna lock the axes here to make it nice and big let's make it um, 200 okay Ooh. Um, let's just move it out of the way a little bit so uh, alt P okay there is our nice big planet so I'm holding shift to run faster to it and let's see if I can you ready you know have enough control so I'm so I could keep us the horizon kind of level as I'm moving about I can roll around I can use strafe pitch and everything is really very really nice and let's do a nice little landing and so we are now kind of getting close and beautiful excellent so now that we have this done let's go ahead and try it out in the actual game okay uh, here we are in the main game of mine so we're on the back side of the planet right now uh, pers with respect to the Sun at least so that is Saudi Arabia it's nighttime and looks like I have a lot of control now with my little spaceship allowing me to stay with the horizon basically and let's see a beautiful sunrise awesome so I have a lot of control now. I can kind of fly, fly around, zoom around, however I wish. And that is the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed that.